वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द क्लास ट्वेल्थ सी बी एस ई बोर्ड प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम इन केमिस्ट्री आई एम अपलोडिंग टूडे वीडियो कंसर्निंग एसिड रेडिकल एनालिसिस द परफॉर्मेंस पार्ट एज वेल एज दाइवा क्वेश्चन डिस्कस विद सॉल्ट एनालिसिस डिटेल्स ऑल द पॉइंट आर रिटर्न इन ब्लू आर द वाइवा क्वेश्चन रेड इज हाईलाइटिंग एंड द मेन कंटेंट इज रिटर्न इन ब्लैक सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद सॉल्ट एनालिसिस Acid radicals, uh, they come from acid part. As an example, HCl gives H plus and Cl negative, so Cl negative is an acid radical. Basic radicals come from the base. So, uh, example sodium ion, it's a basic radical. It's a cation because it's coming from a base. Now, you can be asked the first five a question as uh, what are acid and basic radicals and why are they so called? So, acid radicals are the enones, so called because they are obtained from acid and basic radicals are so called because they are obtained from bases uh, basic radicals are the cations now uh tested testing done by i i'm first going to talk about acid radicals the testing is done by sulfuric acid based on this all the radicals are divided into three groups the dilute sulfuric acid group that is carbonate sulfite nitrite and sulfide concentrated sulfuric acid group nitrate acetate chloride bromide iodide i've just written those common ones which are generally discussed in schools independent group sulfate and phosphate right the basic radicals are classified into six groups the zero group is ammonium ion group 1 is mainly lead ion group 2 is again lead ion copper ion arsenic ion and cadmium ion group 3 is ferrous ferric aluminum group 4 nickel ion manganese zinc ion and cobalt ion group 5 is barium strontium calcium group 6 is magnesium ion and the question here is why do we use sulfuric acid uh, for detection of anions that is the acid radicals because now we have to observe liberation of some specific gases for specific ions and if we use hcl and nitric acid they may give their own gases like hcl might decompose to give uh, chlorine or hcl uh, itself is a gas so similarly nitric acid might decompose to give a gas or nitric acid vapors may be confusing okay both hcl and nitric acid are more volatile than sulfuric acid sulfuric acid due to strong extensive h bonding is a less volatile acid so because of this we prefer to use sulfuric acid than using the uh, hcl or nitric acid a very important point that you must note here when we do the identification test for uh, acid radicals and basic radicals identification test for acid radicals are done with the salt very very important are done with the salt and not the solution not with os whereas testing identification test for basic radicals are done with the original solution that is the salt solution now discussing uh, dilute sulfuric acid group that is carbonate sulfide nitrite and sulfide carbonate when dilute sulfuric acid is added a colorless odorless gas is evolved which turns lime water milky and uh, observation is a brisk effervescence carbonate salts are generally amorphous salts that is uh, they have a powdery look rather than a crystalline look copper and nickel carbonates give comparatively slow effervescence it is not brisk you can remember these specific points so if you've done these particular uh, salts in the lab then look for these observations confirmatory test uh, carbonates the gas that is carbon dioxide liberated would turn lime water milky then second confirmation is add barium chloride to aqueous solution of the salt a white precipitate of barium carbonate is formed so this also indicates presence of carbonate and add magnesium sulfate to the os we get white precipitate of magnesium carbonate this is also a confirmatory test for carbonate yeah so now which other gas turns lime water milky this is an important question for your viva so it's sulfur dioxide which also turns lime water milky like carbon dioxide and remember sulfur dioxide uh, behaves exactly like carbon dioxide with lime water the way lime water that is calcium hydroxide with carbon dioxide first forms calcium carbonate leads to milkiness and when excess is passed that milkiness disappears due to formation of calcium bicarbonate in the same manner 
sulfur dioxide also turns lime water milky due to formation of calcium sulfide right and with excess it gives calcium bisulfide calcium sulfide uh, leads to milkiness and calcium bisulfide being soluble milkiness disappears so how do we test sulfide sulfite with dilute sulfuric acid gives a colorless pungent suffocating smell the point that you need to note is carbon dioxide was a color a odorless gas whereas sulfur dioxide is a pungent suffocating smell so here you will be able to distinguish between whether carbon dioxide is liberated or sulfur dioxide is liberated and most often in your labs you do carbonate salts sulfite salts are less commonly done now this gas sulfur dioxide or a sulfite ion this turns acidified potassium dichromate green so everything related to this particular point children is very important even for your je uh, mains your theory exams just remember acidified dichromate dichromate solution is orange red in color acidified dichromate turns green due to reduction now then the next point is sulfur dioxide turns lime water milky or we have already discussed this decolorizes acidified kmno4 solution here again i would uh, insist that you children keep this very strongly in your memories because uh, I, if i check the last 7 years out of the last 7 years roughly 5 years uh, five times this question has been asked the color based question of dichromate and permanganate has been asked in the various uh, olympiads and uh, je and neat exams right this is very very important so uh, dichromate remember potassium dichromate is an orange red solid when it undergoes reduction it turns to green chromium and it is an oxidizing agent itself is undergoing reduction so it's a very good oxidizing agent similar uh, response we have here for acidified permanganate which is pink in color and in acidic conditions it changes to mn2 plus which becomes colorless clear so both these are themselves undergoing reduction and hence act as very good oxidizing agents so sulfur dioxide gas here is going to get oxidized to sulfate by this oxidizing agent which itself undergoes reduction please remember this is very important for your uh, entrance exams as well so both carbonate and sulfite give brisk effervescence with dilute sulfuric acid the difference carbon dioxide is an odorless gas sulfur dioxide is a pungent smelling gas but both are colorless gases carbon dioxide is non reducing whereas sulfur dioxide is reducing and both turn lime water milky these are all the points i have discussed here are very important and can be asked as viva question next is sulfide ion determination uh, sulfide salts are the easiest to identify because they give a rotten egg smell the salt also gives a rotten egg smell the moment you take it out from its uh, box it will uh, give the smell indicating sulfide ion right rotten egg smell a very small strong smell and uh, with dilute sulfuric acid due to liberation of h2s it gives rotten egg smell confirmation is done with water extract water extract is nothing but original solution it is solution in water add sodium nitroprusside purple or violet coloration and if you add lead acetate it gives a black precipitate then we have nitrite ion now nitrite and nitrate very important two ions and uh, also children uh, what i've been observing over the last 25 years children make a mistake in the formula of nitrite and nitrate please remember nitrite i t e i t e ions are always the lower oxidation state ions right and a t e eight ions are always the higher oxidation state ions this nitrite ion has nitrogen in plus 3 and nitrate ion is no3 negative with nitrogen in plus 5 please remember the formula with clarity because i have seen children losing marks because of the formula nitrite ion with dilute sulfuric acid gives a brown gas with dilute sulfuric acid it gives a brown gas confirmation can be done to water extract add 2 to 3 drops of acetic acid 2 ml of ferrous sulfate solution you get a dark brown or a black colored solution dark brown or black solution one confirmatory second confirmatory is to the water extract add few drops of acidified kmno4 pink color disappears again the reason is same 
permanganate ion changing to Mn2 plus ion and in the process color disappears. Yeah. So uh, what is the question that can be asked? How will you differentiate between nitrite and nitrate? Remember nitrite gives a brown gas with dilute sulfuric acid whereas nitrate gives a brown gas with concentrated sulfuric acid. Both are oxidizing agents. Both impart deep blue color with diphenylamine. Diphenylamine, this is the structure of diphenylamine. Both of these oxidize diphenylamine to convert it to N-N-N-N tetraphenyl hydrazine and water. Okay, this, this question is generally not asked but diphenylamine test is performed for nitrite and nitrate. Both of these are going to impart deep blue color due to this kind of conversion.